In this discussion, you can see how to create many to one field data type in brief. In case you missed previous video related how to use multiple add-ons path for custom add modules, please check link is given in description. If you don't subscribe yet, please subscribe to get latest notification. First of all, we need to understand is like how to work many to one field. First of all, we are just checking one diagram and based on that diagram, we will create one uh, field as a many to one. Uh, you can see here this diagram is for many to one field. There are two tables. One is a school and one is a student. This is for your uh, basic understanding like how the many to one field is working in Odoo. In this diagram you can see school and student table. In school table having a one ID as a primary key and type is an integer and one is a school name as a character field. In student profile you can see ID is a primary key as a data type is integer and one more colon is student underscore ID which is a foreign key of this school table and type is an integer and the name of like uh, this is a name colon it is a it is a character type and we are storing uh, students name here in this name colon this one is a primary table and this one is a secondary table so now the many to one field we have to use in student profile as a foreign key we have to use a school table data into students table so that time we have to use fields dot then after we have to use many to one field like uh, as a many to one and in bracket we have to use that school model name as a school dot student if we are going to pycharm and we will check school profile here you can see this is our school profile model is here now what we have to do is we have to use this school dot profile in our student school underscore student model uh, in module under this model like school dot student here so one more thing is like we have to add one colon name here you can give any name then after fields dot many to one after here what we have to do is we have to go to again in school.py and we have to use this underscore name school.profile and then after we have to use as one uh, attribute string which will visible in form view added one school underscore id into the school dot student now what we have to do is we have to visible in form view so now again we have to go to list view and form view so again we are going to here in view part and here you can see we have only tree view there is no any form view we can just duplicate it and we have to use here our colon name school underscore id that's it and uh, so till now we don't have the school underscore id in school dot student model so first of all we will see in our database select start from school student underscore up oh, sorry school underscore student here you can see only name is there but there is no any school underscore id so we have to register that colon to upgrade our module restart the odoo service one time because we already changed in python side and have to go to in app store and we have to use that module find out here and upgrade the module so now we are going to terminal and we can again see this 
school underscore student table and here you can see it's already registered in our in this table now we will use in front of side as a in GUI side so again we are going to browser and here first of all we will add one school name first school then after second school third school so we have a first school second and third one now we are going to student profile and here you can see it's visible inside the tree view as you can see as a list view we are going to add one record so this is a basic character field like I will add here one name X XYZ and here you can see it's look like a combo box if you click here you can see here first school second school third school you can also create or you can also edit like first of all I will click here the first school I will save it you can see here this is a first school and if I'm going to list view you can see here school first is registered in the first record again we are going to terminal and uh, we are just firing the select query here you can see the name is XYZ and school ID is a one because in school underscore profile having okay this is not a correct way so we are just using name so you can see here ID one and uh, name is a uh, first school so again we are just firing one student profile and you can see here the first one this one is a primary key and this is a foreign key so like this way you can also add your custom module many to one or existing any models you can use in your model so now we are moving to backend side and uh, checking the possibility like supported attributes in many to one field here you can see the first one is a string and here you can see this is a label name one more attribute is required and it will support a boolean boolean data like as a true or false by default is a false like from front end side whenever you have to mandatory many to one field this field so you have to use required equal to true and restart the service refresh the page and you can see the color also changed as in background and while I will try to save you can see here it, it's giving a pop-up message like this field is invalid so now I'm going to select any record here and I will try to save it Odo will storing this allowed to save this record otherwise it will give us a pop-up message one more attribute is read only So whenever I'm using this read only equal to true by default is a false and supported data type is boolean data type I'm just trying to restart the service and uh, refresh the page and I'm trying to click here I can't do anything here so it's a read only field so now we are going to editor and we are trying to do the same thing in xml side the label name we have to change from xml side so it is also possible using a string attribute you can see here this is a school name in python side and if we are going to xml side in form view it is also possible as a string equal to here we have to use uh, the name of that uh, label name like only school that's it 
and whenever the you have to remember one thing is whenever you are changing in xml side you must have to upgrade at least once again going to front end side and refreshing the page so you can see here now what we have to do is we can also require this field from forms uh, form view so here we have to also use required equal to one one means true and uh, zero means false going to terminal and upgrade the module going to browser and once i will refresh you can see here the color also changed you can see the color changed and if i will remove this one and trying to save or do can't save this record because this is this field is required field so whenever i'm trying to save it right now Odoo will be like saving this field i'm going to again pycharm and you can also override like read only equal to one same as the required attribute data like one is true and zero means false we have to upgrade module because we changed in xml side and we have to once i will refresh this patch like this field i will no more to no more like allow to edit here you can see whenever i'm trying to do like it won't be editable so like you can also do it from your side one more attribute is invisible invisible equal to one one means true and zero means false by default those like required read only and invisible default value is zero again going to terminal and trying to upgrade the module and uh, refresh the page once i will refresh the page you can see here this school and uh, this level and this data no more visible in form view now one more thing is we can also use okay so we are removing this one and we are again going to python side in this model we can also use one more attribute is default here we have to pass as a foreign key like as id so whenever i'm first of all we have to understand is what is foreign key here you can see this is our primary model as a school profile and uh, here you can see ID and name is visible in this column ID and name so ID means 1 2 and 3 is a foreign key for the student profile so we have to pass default as a default 1 2 or 3 as an integer field in many to one let's say I will try to add default as a 1 I'm going to here refresh the page and upgrade the module refresh the page and uh, whenever I'm trying to create so Odoo will check the default value and uh, if default value match with the primary table it will give that record you can see here it's giving me a first school then after I will try to add non-exist key so what happened we can see here in terminal we just refresh the page restart the service only no need to upgrade and discard and now I'm going to click here so Odoo will give me one warning message like the school profile the fifth record is not found because in database side there is no 
any primary key as a fifth ID and for the user 2 means I am login as an administrator so in user profile my user ID is a second ID so you can also add your data here but make sure like that primary key should be existing in your database so then and then you will get a default data otherwise you will having some issue like uh, the auto will rise one error that's it for now in case you have any doubt please comment below see you in next video